Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. During the week between Christmas and New Year's, it's been our tradition here on Dateline Schools to take a look back at the year 2014 and take a peek at what we can expect educationally the week ahead. So to do that this week, my special guest is the superintendent here at St. Clair County, Risa, Dan DeGroe. And it's hard to believe 2014 is almost in the books, Dan. How, how you assess this year as far, as far as education in St. Clair County? Well, it, w it was an interesting year in terms of uh, we had a lot of change in terms of the uh, people at the top of the local school districts. Uh, and, you know, we had one leave local to go to another one, Marysville to Port Huron. So that, that's one of the things. It was probably a year of major change with uh, superintendents. And, yeah, that's not always bad, and some of it's inevitable. We're seeing a lot more around the state, whether a whole lot of people are in an era where they're about to retire or jobs aren't as much fun as they used to be. But, you know, uh, uh, school districts are like most organizations, like a, like a pro sports team you know the good ones have stability mm -hmm. so while we saw this change hopefully we don't continue to have turmoil and turnover because i i do think the districts and like any organization will prosper when there's uh, stability at the top and it's interesting to see too that uh, ken nickel out of yale is now our senior superintendent at least on the job the longest of anyone in st Clair county that is correct yes do you find that uh, you know, where we have uh, superintendents moving, like from one district to another, we've had that, you know, KPAC to Yale, we've had that Yale to Memphis, we've now have it Marysville to Portland. Does that does that really help the the guy coming into the new district? Well, what we're seeing is a couple of districts, for financial reasons, have uh, in the past hired retired soups to do a part time, or now in Memphis's case, sharing it. Uh, it is a way to save money, and you know they have to determine how that's working. The others have been retirements or, or people moving on. Mm -hmm. So do you, do you see that now that we've kind of got that all taken care of, except for the, the KPAC job with uh, Dr. Smith there, of course, um, we're going to be pretty stable the next few years? Uh, I go year to year. I, I expect Chuck Smith to be back another year. So, uh, yeah, I, I think we'll, we'll be get, hopefully we'll get to that stability, the new guys in Elgin, East China. Mary's own port here on you. Know, hopefully they're well, they're there for a while. And having them around for a while, I'm sure helps you and your position too, doesn't it? Well, it makes life a, a, a easier for everybody in their districts and at Risa. Yeah. We'll be back with more tomorrow for Dateline Schools. I'm Terry Harrington.